guys, so today I'm going to be doing a fall haul, and this is going to be the first one that I'm doing. I'm going to be doing many more throughout fall and winter because these are my favorite seasons for fashion. I'm obsessed with layering and just sweaters and all of that stuff. So I wanted to show you guys what I picked up from a couple trips to the mall and an online order. I've been waiting to film this until... Um, the order came in the mail and it finally came today. Starting off with Brandy because what's a haul without some Brandy Melville, am I right? So I got this t-shirt dress. It's a maroon and white striped one and, you know, it's just, just a plain t-shirt dress and I love it. The next thing I got is a sporty style shirt so it just has a black neckline and then it has the two like varsity sleeves. I don't know how you would describe this and I really like it. It's just like a big flowy shirt so it'll be good with leggings. The last thing that I got is not something that is very fall winter-ish but I live in California so it's always hot here and again you can always layer with something like this and it's just like a um, thin tank top crop top thing and I think it'll look really cute with like a leather jacket, some high-waisted black pants. The next place I went is Windsor and this bag is so crinkly. I've been wanting this dress for a while and it was sold out in my size online and I walked into the Windsor store and there it was, just one of them sitting there. I run up to it, look at the size and of course it was my size and I was like, you know, I have to buy it. Like you can't just not buy something like that. Like, obviously it was fate. I was intended to have this dress. Claudia, if you're watching this, I am so sorry for copying you, but this dress is too cute. I just, I couldn't say no. Okay, so it's just like a striped dress and it has a very nice, like, waffly texture. I don't even know. I love it and it's stretchy and then it has this little like asymmetrical flap thing and I am in love and I love the color because it's a nice fall color and it's very comfortable and I can't wait to wear it. I don't know where I'm going to wear it but I will find something. <laughs> Next I went to Nordstrom. The first thing that I got is actually from the Topshop section there and it's just this plain white shirt and it has lace trim on the bottom and on the sleeves. I went a couple sizes up on this shirt because I wanted it to be big and loose and I'm so excited to wear it. The last thing that I got from Nordstrom I am so excited to wear once the weather cools down here. I have to get them shortened a little bit. They're these velvet pants that are this nice purple shade and they're just they're beautiful and they're bell bottoms. These pants, they're amazing. Like, I am so in love with them. Just look at them. They're beautiful. If you guys want me to feature these pants in a styling video, be sure to let me know down below because I get a lot of questions on how to style, you know, pants like this and flowy types of pants and I would love to do that for you guys. I'm obsessed with them. It really doesn't get much better than like a purple velvet Am I right? The last clothing items of this haul come from Urban Outfitters. I found this sweater and it kind of has like a v-neck thing going on and it's just like a flowy thin sweater and it has a hood and I am in love with this. They had a few different colors of this but I liked the kind of like salt and pepper gray color and I got this in a size up because I wanted it to be longer so I could wear it with leggings. This gray Adidas shirt and I love it. A lot of people have the white version of this shirt with the black details on it but I personally love this heather gray color with the white. I think it's going to look amazing with these army green pants that I have and I just really love the shirt. I like how on the back it's like backwards, you know what I'm saying? I'm really into the whole sporty look, so this is perfect and I'm really happy with my purchase. The last thing I picked up from Urban Outfitters is this plain white shirt that I paid way too much money for, but I really love it. It's kind of more of like a thin, you know, sheer plain white shirt. I don't really know how to describe it. Like, can you... Can you see what I'm talking about? I don't know. The reason that I bought this shirt is because of the slits on the side. It's going to be perfect for layering because you could throw a sweater over it and it just looks so amazing. Moving on to the makeup body 
home portion of this haul. So I went to MAC. So the first thing that I got is the Boldly Bear lip pencil and I'm in love with this. It's so noisy. It's still in the box but I've actually used it many many times already and it's just like the perfect nude color for me and I heard Gigi talking about it and I was like okay it must be good have to buy it so I did and I am obsessed the next thing that I got is just a pair of eyelashes and some eyelash glue because I am going with one of my friends to their homecoming and I wanted to wear false eyelashes so I bought some then I went to Sephora because I needed to pick up a couple of things first thing that I got from Sephora is an eyeliner I needed this Desperately, literally all of my liquid eyeliners were dried out. This is like one of my favorites. I've gone through probably like three or four of these eyeliners and it just works really well. The next thing that I got is the Their Real Mascara from Benefit. I really like this. It's not my favorite mascara, but um, I needed one. The next thing that I got is an Anastasia um, double-ended eyebrow brush with the spoolie and then the angled um, brush on this side. It's brush number seven <laughs> and I needed a new one of these because I was at my friend's house doing my makeup and she has like the door mirrors that slide and my somehow my brush was like in the track and she didn't see it and she like opened the door and it got like all stuck in there and then the spoolie end fell off last thing that I got is something I'm so excited to use and I haven't used it yet because I wanted it to be fresh for the video and like I could show you guys and it was clean and these are the Beauty Blender Micro Minis. So there's two mini beauty blenders. They're so small and I'm so excited to use these. They're going to be perfect for under my eyes and I love my original beauty blenders so much and I cannot wait to try these. I placed an order on Frank Bod and if you don't know what Frank is, they're a coffee scrub and I follow them on Instagram and I have for a while and I finally just decided to purchase one of their scrubs and I'm so happy I did. I've already used it like twice and it's going to be perfect for the fall and winter because my skin gets a lot more dry. I kept the packaging that it got shipped in because I wanted to show you guys what it says up here. I don't know if you can see because the exposure is pretty high but it says help I'm a handsome scrub trapped inside this plastic bag I need a babe to save me is it you that I'm looking for and I just think that is so cute and then this is what the scrub looks like I got the original one and it's just supposed to help with um, you know getting rid of your dead skin and with cellulite and stretch marks and all of that stuff and yeah if you want to know more about it just look up Frank Bod they didn't send this to me by the way I bought it with my own money and I'm so excited about it. I love it. It smells amazing. If you love the way that coffee smells, you will love this. I went to Lush. I only got three things. The first being a face mask. This is the Lush Catastrophe Cosmetic Face Mask. This is one of my favorite face masks that they make. It smells really, really good, and it just works really well for calming and cleansing the skin. Perfect for, like, when you have a lot of breakouts, which I have right now. I love that they use all natural ingredients. It makes me feel so good about what I'm putting on my face, and it's just amazing. Then I got two bath bombs because I love taking more baths in the fall and winter. The first bath bomb that I got is called Big Blue. It smells like, I don't even know what, it smells really good though. It smells nice and fresh and clean and it's supposed to have like seaweed in it and I'm really excited. Then I got this one which says bomb on the top. You can't see that I don't think but it's the... It's the Blackberry Bath Bomb. It smells really nice. It's not too fruity, which I like. It's kind of, I don't even know how to describe the scent. I would just say to go and smell it. The last thing that I got in this haul is a buttload of candles from Bath and Body Works. Oh, look at how cute it is on the inside. Aw, what am I supposed to do with this all? I actually did a very risky thing and I bought a candle that I've never smelt before so you're going to see my initial reaction hopefully it smells good this is the vanilla pumpkin marshmallow oh, oh it smells so good I'm really happy I bought this 
Mm. I got two leaves candles because I really love the scent of these and I just think it's the perfect fall fragrance for your room or your house or wherever you're going to burn this and the packaging on this is very very nice this year I love it I also got two of this candle which is called warm caramel cider I love the packaging on this too look at the lid so when they released the fall candles I went into Bath and Body Works and I couldn't find cider lane which is my favorite fall scent from Bath and Body Works ever like it is amazing okay if you've never smelt it you're not living anyway so she tried to tell me that they didn't have it and they weren't gonna make it this year and I was just like no but I was watching someone's video and they mentioned that they didn't get rid of it they just changed the name so thank you to whoever said that in their video I don't remember who and I'm so sorry but yeah this is the warm caramel cider it smells pretty much exactly the same as Cider Lane and I'm very 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 happy I bought two and last candle that I got is mahogany teakwood this one has the pretty lid as well and it just smells like Abercrombie and the Fitch I love this candle all year round and I've gone through so many of these and I just decided to pick up another one sorry if the angle or the lighting changed a little bit it's because my camera died right before I could film my outro so thank you guys so much for watching I hope you guys enjoyed my first haul video of the fall and winter season because I enjoyed making it very much and I hope you guys are having an amazing day or night or whenever you're watching this and I'll see you next time bye Mwah.